Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Anyway, um, here we are back in uh, Prison Architect. That's right. Yeah, we just uh, we're starting from scratch here. Uh, wait, no, we're not. We have a. Uh, we're back. We're back with uh, this big prison. It looks great. Oh, is it working? Yeah, it's working. Okay, good. Whoo, nice. All right, so here we are in a big prison. It's looking good. It's looking great. We have some guys on death row. If you remember yesterday, part of me. We have Dave Crowfield and Simon Simpson. Simon Simpson looks like he's had two appeals that have possibly failed because his clemency is now down to 22%. Um, and Dave Crowfield is down to 17%. So getting closer to the point where we can fry these guys. It's going to be nice. We're going to make some money off frying them as well. It's going to be pretty good. Um, fix the pipes. Oh yeah, I'll fix it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll do that. Hey, listen. Before I start, quickly, Calamond, thank you very much for the two months. Welcome back. Also, of energy, thanks for the six months. Welcome back. Madogum, 38 months. Fuck me, man. That's crazy. Do good stuff. Also, black screen. I fixed it. I fixed it. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, Stein of Derd Derp X. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome aboard. Sursley, thank you very much for the sub as well. Welcome aboard. Unaware Money 988. Thanks for the sub. Welcome aboard. Also, Chaz Dongle, seven months. Thank you. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Emma Dongham. Thank you very much for the bits. Seamless. I know. I know. That's good, isn't it? Like, I think my shirt is like. So I, maybe I might have to take my shirt off or like hold my shirt like like this. Maybe <laughs> it's just a gray shirt, but it seems to be clashing a bit with my green screen. I don't know why, but anyway, we'll see. Am I Scottish? Yeah, I'm Scottish. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can probably tell by my accent and stuff. Okay, let's speed things up here. Let's get these guys fried. It's a short stream today, okay? Because it's uh, my wedding anniversary today. Why am I not spending time with my wife right now? Because she's busy doing stuff like with kids and stuff. But later on, we're going out. And that's why it's going to be a short stream, okay? Um, so I'm sorry about that. But at least we, we're going to get to maybe fry somebody today. So that's at least something, right? Good. Are we good with that? Happy end. Thanks. Thanks very much. I've been married for 14 years now. True story. It's been 14 years since me and my wife got married. And we still talk to each other and stuff. It's really nice. We're still like uh, on good terms. We haven't had a divorce yet or anything. We haven't had any major dramas or anything. It's been really good. 14 years. It's uh, been a long sustain. It's been really good. Um, Emma the cutest, thank you very much for the donation. Sips, I work at a machine shop and I slipped on some bars and pulled my back and now I'm in pain. Please help. Oh, well, you're just gonna have to lay down until you feel better. Your body needs a lot of rest and recuperation and sleep and stuff and then it will slowly mend itself. That is the miracle of the human body, Emma, Emma the cutest. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy the time off, for Christ's sake. That'll be good. Oh, what's going on here? This is meant to all be max sec. For some reason, it's not. Okay, good. This is meant to be staff only. This is staff only as well in here. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Let's make that staff only too. Okay, good. We need some people to actually work here now as well. We have a uh, foundation education program. We have six prisoners who can do these jobs. This is good. Let's get three of them up here too. We're going to need some uh, CCTV cameras in here. And here. We don't want these guys like rioting. Um, how many cameras do we currently have hooked up? Let's see, connect. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be fine. Capacity-wise, we should be good. All right, we got money. We're making money. We're um, slowly heading towards frying some prisoners. And um, we now, of course, have a library and a mailroom. I'm hoping that the library and the delivery of books out to the prison in general, so people can read, um, will you know, prompt people to take uh, the general education course thing as well. Uh, because nobody wants to do a general education right now, but it's part of our reform program, right? So we have to get our educated prisoners in here working these jobs, and then hopefully that's gonna help things out a little bit, but I'm not sure. Let's see, let's get this hooked up here too. Found some garden shears down here. Um, Leica. Thank you very much for the two months resub. 
Welcome back. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Zero the Death, thanks very much for the donation. I made a one, but it was hard. I used paint and I most remake this when I get a real program. Here it is if you want to see it. Have a good anniversary next year. Is a big what you're going to do then. 15 years. Yeah, I know, right? It's going to be nuts. Let me see this picture. What is this? Zero's Prison Architect Sips. Oh, yeah. The, with the, the, that's really good. Man, I... I'm too lazy to overlay it, but thanks, Zero. I really appreciate it. It's uh, excellent work. I can see myself there in the in the picture. Uh, apparently, I got shanked as well. Is that true? I hope not. But anyway, um, Shea Bear cosplay. Thanks for the two months. Uh, welcome back. Thank you, Crelly. Thanks for the donation. Happy anniversary to you and Mrs. Sips. Have a celebratory beer on me. Thank you so much. Uh, SFS93. Thanks for the donation as well. Happy anniversary, you big baby face bastard. Thanks. I appreciate it. And also, Rossibo, thanks for the fresh sub. Welcome aboard. Good. Okay. <clears throat> and this 80s playlist is pretty intense, actually. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like, it's not, not too bad, but, like, at the same time, I can imagine I'll get pretty sick of it pretty quick. Okay, so we have this power station down here for a death row. That's good. Uh, we, mil we built a new power station here for this, like, new block. It's not, like best but it'll it'll do and then we've got this power station here with two capacitors for super max okay and we're making a lot of money we could probably do with making some more money realistically and for that we're going to need more of these carpenter tables i think that's where we're going to make all of our money maybe we just need a bigger workshop maybe the work this workshop and infirmary need to move so that we can make this canteen and common room bigger and then maybe up here we're gonna have like some more facilities workshops and whatnot i'm not sure yet though we will have to like chop and change it a bit and see how it goes but for now we're pretty secure we haven't had any escapes luckily but we have had many many deaths and we have eight prisoners now up for parole eight good god how the hell do we have eight people ready for parole? This doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem possible even. Oh yeah, and we were working on um, the nutrition research, uh, which we're almost done. And uh, oh yeah, we have to fix this uh, water thing as well. Where? Where's the water? Oh yeah, it's in here. It's still broken? No, it looks like it's fixed now. Maybe somebody fixed it? I don't know. I couldn't find it yesterday and I was getting really, really angry about it too. I don't know if you guys were there for that, but holy shit, I was getting pretty angry. No, build multiple parole rooms. You can do many paroles at once now. I know, but the thing is like, I know we have eight prisoners up for parole, but it's like, um, it's not a common thing. We don't normally have this many people up for parole. I think we can just process them this way. Programs, parole the actual parole hearing parole hearing we can maybe do like another one a day we have six to ten and then we have a ten to no six to ten we don't want that one okay we can do a two to six as, as well <gasps> okay you're gonna have to check this out quickly no i know you're on break okay you know what you're gonna have to check this out quickly we just found we just had a, a sniff of a tunnel possibly oh shit Somebody's trying to get out. Look at this. Okay, yes. Okay, good. We're gonna search this cell. We're also gonna search this cell. It looks like somebody's trying to tunnel. We've definitely got a tunnel here, everybody. Okay, let's take a quick look. Let's see if we can find out where this tunnel is. We can find the whole thing. Any luck? Okay, he's really looking in this toilet. It's gotta be down here somewhere, right? It's gotta be down here. Okay, we're searching this guy to see if we can find his pickaxe. It's gotta be these guys at the end here, right? Definitely finding tunnels, but where? Okay, let's see if we can get this guy to do a sniff here too. We might have to dismantle these toilets. Because they definitely found something here. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to get you in here to sniff the toilets, okay? And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna dismantle the toilets. There's definitely a tunnel here. There's gotta be, right? guy isn't in his bed. Oh shit, that means he's tunneling. He's not even in his bed. Okay, the toilet. Search toilets. Let's dismantle this toilet. We're gonna find this guy. Okay, hang on a second. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna play this? Where is he trying to go to? He's either gonna be going... Let's have a quick search in here to see if maybe he's like in here somehow. He's like... Maybe he's digging... 
Oh, look. Okay. Look at this. He's in the tunnel. <laughs> He's in the tunnel. Okay. Come on, doggy. Whereabouts is he, boy? Oh, I believe. Okay. We really have to get that thing dismantled fast. Look, it looks like he's dug down here and like out here and he's not in his cell. You guys are right about this. He's he's in the midst of escaping. We're gonna have to stop this somehow. We're gonna have to get down there and get him. Okay, have a sniff here. It looks like maybe he hasn't made it all the way down here, but let's get into here and just make sure. Okay, we're finding tunnels. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's dismantle this toilet and... Oh! Oh, you wily coyote. Whoa, no! There he is! Oh my god, there's two of them! Oh, man. Oh, that was... Holy crap, look, they were coming from here. God damn. Oh, no. Okay, that was a close one. They almost got out. That was really close. Shit, we almost had an escape. Look, they had the dummy in there and everything. Oh, god damn. Okay. Okay, we got to definitely fix these holes. We got to patch up these holes big time. Fuck, that was close. My god. Zero escapes, baby. Yeah, hell yeah. Man, they were going for it. Holy shit. Look at that. They wrecked this tile here as well. Unbelievable. Animals. Absolute animals. God damn it. God, that was really close. Holy shit. We could have been in a lot of trouble there. Wow. Okay, we're gonna have to definitely do a shakedown tonight. Make sure we find um, these tools because I don't think we actually found the pickaxe that they were using. Unless it was on the guy. Which, in which case, maybe then. But holy crap. Oh man, these fucking prisoners are the worst. Okay, a couple of tasings are happening. It's the start of the day, of course, so um, it's like tase time. A couple of people are pretty upset. Let's just see what the general needs are of these guys. Recreation Didn't know it was your anniversary. It Hope is. you and Sips have a good one. Thanks. Enjoy an Aussie beer on me, not Foster's Plaza. All right, thank you very much, my dog. I'm for the thousand bits. Very generous, thank you. Zalius, thanks for the 200 bits as well. Happy anniversary to you and your wife. Here's an to another 100 years. Thank you so much. Spare Fish, thanks for the bits as well. For 14 more years, thank you. And uh, Sir Slee, thank you very much for the 100 bits as well. We warned you yesterday about drills being better at digging than picks. Yeah, you did. But we managed to find... We managed to find that tunnel before it was too late. Oh my god, look at these fucking animals. Every morning this happens, look at this. Just like a steady flow of angry, angry prisoners making their way into the common room canteen. Hopefully they're gonna be able to do some recreational stuff. I think what we want to have in here is maybe some TVs as well. Look. Let's get some TVs set up in the canteen as well so that they can watch MacGyver and stuff while they're eating their breakfast. Because recreation seems to be a bit of a problem. Some of these guys are exercising now. A lot of them are just eating. It looks like we're satisfying the meal needs of around 90% of our prisoners. A lot of them are going to be tased and put into solitary just for generally being fucking doofuses. So there is that as well. Um, but that's probably fine. Okay, we're going to need a utility door servo here as well. So that we don't need a guard to unlock all that. All right, I'm looking forward to our dudes working in the library. And equally, I'm looking forward to frying up these death row inmates as well. That's going to be really nice. And look, everybody's going to have a front row seat for the grand frying as well when it does happen. Okay, look at this. We've got an appeals magistrate here. Looks like he's doing an appeal for... Crowfield, who is... Son of a bitch. He got it. Dave Forrest Gimp Crowfield got off. <laughs> oh my god. That is fucking unbelievable. It worked. He managed to get the clemency. Son of a bitch. And look at this. Now there's a huge Royal Rumble breaking out in the canteen as well. Look at all of these guys getting fucking beat on and stuff. Tased and beaten. Oh my god. Fuck me. Forrest Gimp is gonna be rotated into regular prison life now. He's no longer on death row. Oh, that's unbelievable. So now our only hope is Simon Simpson to get the chair. Oh, shit. This sucks. Now we're processing, like, death row guys back into regular prison. Unbelievable. 
All right, good job, guards. Nobody died there. It's a little bit of a little bit of a messy morning. I guess there's some needs that are not being fulfilled here. Um, recreation being like the top one. There's 38 prisoners furious that they can't meet this need. I'm not quite sure why that's happening. Maybe it's because they haven't had any free time for some time now. Possibly. Um, what are what's what are we doing with our meals and stuff now? As well, did I change this? Oh yeah, low low, and they should be having one a day, one meal a day. Yeah, everybody's getting one meal a day. Okay, good. Great. Nice. Okay, so we should be able to pass this this first part of the grant. We're gonna get 15 grand for this when we finally pass it. We're gonna have to rotate back over to having three lavish meals a day, which is gonna cost us a little bit of money, but overall it should be fine. Is anybody working in this stupid library yet? No, everybody's on yard time. Once the yard is done, they'll go to work and then hopefully we'll have a couple of guys working in the library in the mail room. And then that'll hopefully satisfy a couple of needs as well. That would be good, right? TVs have an AOE now. Hover over them. Do they? Oh shit, yeah, they do. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't realize that. Nice. So multiple people can watch one TV. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. So Simon Simpson, uh, who is in here for, wow, a whole bunch of stuff. His clemency likelihood is 22%. Hopefully he doesn't get let off. Oh my god. And we just lost a grant to reform program session. Not sure which one it was. Oh, it must be this classroom. Okay, good. The guard has arrived on his deployment schedule. This is nice. It looks like we do have some people going up to work in possibly the mailroom and the library. Nice. We've got a lot of books to sort out here. Look, we've gotten a lot of generous donations from all of these different, like, schools and foundations out there. Oh, look at this. David Scott and Dan Carter are furiously working at sorting out books and putting them into the library racks. This is really good. Hey, uh, Talon Warfin, thanks for the six month three sub. Also, Gebit Wow, thank you very much for the bits. Where's the morgue? Where are you gonna put the fried limp dicks to the prisoners you fry? I didn't make a morgue. I mean, we could make a morgue, I suppose. Uh, should we make just like a little morgue down here? What, what's, what's the requirements for the morgue, actually? Morgue. Um, morgue. Morgue is one of the only ones that we don't... Ah, here it is. Okay, it just has to be indoors, and it has to have a morgue slab. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't need to be a specific size or anything. This is good. Alright, let's double up down here, then. We'll make a little morgue, okay? Since people seem to be just so, like... Where's your morgue? Where's your morgue, dummy? Why don't you have a morgue? Okay, well, we're just gonna have a little morgue down here, okay? Fine. We're gonna build this with the foundations. It's gonna cost us 1,680 big ones. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I don't know why I'm making this, but there you go. Okay, electrical cable. It's gonna be mostly used by death row. Let's let's assume that nobody else is gonna die in the prison unless of natural causes. So the morgue is gonna be populated by ex death row inmates who have Happy perished. anniversary, Sips. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks. Prepare your anus for those incoming morning riots, amateur. Wasted youth, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. What do you mean, morning riots? Come on. We have to sort this out, though, realistically. I don't know why these guys don't have enough recreation. There's 41, 42 prisoners who are not getting the recreation that they need. And I'm not sure why. There's plenty of free... I guess they're gonna satisfy it during free time. Maybe we... Because we had... Didn't we do, like, a lockup or a, a bang-up or something yesterday? And maybe that's what's, like, helped cause this? I'm not too sure. Like, I don't know what's happened, actually. So, we'll have to see. Okay. So, rooms, then. This is going to be, um, the morgue in here. We're gonna need a light inside the morgue. It's not, like, quite... Okay, and then we need some morgue slabs as well. They're a hundred bucks each. Okay. We now have a morgue, okay? Everybody happy? Put the toilet back. Oh, shit, yeah. I forgot about that toilet, whoops. Man, what a find though. We Happy found them. Anniversary sips. We found them. Buy an extra margarita for the wife. Mid and dig. by the way, the Witcher playthrough is amazing. Oh, thanks Mr. Gimmick. Thank you very much for the donation, the kind words. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Um, I'm glad that you like the, the Witcher. Uh, it's really fun to play. I've been enjoying it a lot, so. Um, I've, I've got like a couple of 
episodes recorded and I'm gonna do some more recording of it tomorrow. I, I'm really enjoying the story, like I'm starting to get really into it now. It's really nice. Okay, we have one prisoner who can't actually- Whoa, we just made four grand off exports. Holy crap, this wood shop is really starting to come about now. This is pretty nice. Shitballs. Okay, we're gonna have to do a shakedown tonight. Uh, which means that we're probably gonna have a morning riot again. These guys are gonna be pissed. Okay, let's see, it's free time now? Looks like it's free time and some of these recreation needs are being met, so the temperature overall the prison is going down. Literacy should start dropping off soon once the library comes up. We start delivering some books to these guys in their cells. They have a lot of time to sit in their cells and read and think about stuff as well, so that's good. Spirituality doesn't seem like much of a problem right now, but it could become a bigger problem. We might need to get like a chapel or something at some point, but man, I really don't want to have a chapel. Like, if I can, if we can help it. Like, it would be great to not actually have a chapel. <clears throat> and I was going to pack this out with cells, but now I'm thinking maybe I'm just going to make a super big workshop in here. And just fill it with, like, basically carpenter's tables. So that we can sell, like, millions and millions of, you know, beds and couches and stuff every day. It might not be a bad idea, you know. And then just have more cells down here. We, we have to get cell block D done. About 50% there, but that's not because we've built any new cells. I don't know. Make, make a new canteen. It's pretty cramped. Ah, it's fine. Look, these guys are chilling. They're fine. There's plenty of room in here for them to do the stuff that they need to do. Oh, shit. Look at this. Who's got Scott Conahan? 26 years Hi, old. Sips. 14 years is a long time. It Good is. Good job. Great job. Thanks for being my friend. Wow, Dumbfist. Thank you so much for the 20 bucks, man. I really appreciate that. It's really nice to you. 14 years is a long time, yeah. It's, um, it's a lot of, like, um, well, you know, like, marriage is just, um, lots of, sort of, um, compromise and trial and error and stuff, but it's fun. It's really fun. I, I highly recommend getting married to somebody that you actually want to get married to. Don't just get married for the sake of getting married, because I said that it's, like, pretty fun. Marry somebody, like, worthwhile marrying, and then reap the rewards. It's great. Like, maybe one day you could also have a dad garage that you could just sit in all day long and ignore everybody else and just do dad stuff. Like I do. It's really fun. It's really nice, actually. It's good. Slowly dying inside. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Jaguarma, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome aboard. And Gebit, wow, thank you very much for the 400 bits. Thank you. Unlike Lewis, you actually pronounced my name correctly. There you go. We just got three grand for an early release prison reward. That's pretty good. Simon Simpson still sitting at 22%. We don't have another death row inmate turning up, sadly, but you never know. Maybe we'll get another one. It could be kind of good. Uh, our reception is pretty big, but like, I don't know. Are we going to be doing like bigger intakes or what? Like we could get another table here just in case. Doesn't look like anybody's actually in the reception right now, but I suppose there's no need for them to actually be in the reception. We have one max security prisoner arriving in 13 hours time. So that's not too bad. Financially, our prison is pretty healthy, but we could do with saving up a bit of money. This is like a Britney Spears song, isn't it? Or is it Backstreet Boys? It's like a Backstreet Boys song. The reception desk is not backwards. That's not backwards, is it? No, it isn't. Look, that's the back of the computer. It's meant to be that way. That's not backwards at all. That's perfectly fine. Look, see, that's like the plugs and stuff at the back. That's right. That's fine. It's just when you're in 3D mode, it looks backwards for some reason. Back streets back all right. Yeah. No, I know. The reception desk is fine. Happy Lego 91. It's fine. It's good. Sometimes, though, it's good to just sort of, like, sanity check and make sure. Uh, what else do we need to be making here? I guess we need to, like, hook up this concrete tile here. And I suppose we can up the, um, our prisoner capacity. I guess maybe we just make... We designed those to be cells, so maybe we just actually fill them with cells. We can do, like, some, um, quick builds here. Do some quick builds and cloning. But before we do that, we want to make sure that all of our utilities are running through here. Okay. Um, so let's do that first. We're going to get our small pipes here. And they need to be, what's that, like, three? Yeah, it's, like, here, right? And that's where the door is. Okay, so we'll go like this. Go over to here. And then pipe down to here. And then, of course, we're going to need the hot water pipe as well. Hot water pipe's going to have to... 
pretty much follow the same path. I'm gonna have to heat this baby up too. I'm gonna need like some um, some radiators and stuff, but we'll have to get those in after because we don't have the luxury of just putting one here. How are we doing for temperature in here anyway? Not bad actually, pretty good. Storage and exports is cold, and anyone working there is gonna be cold. Uh, we're gonna need to have a radiator in the mail room, I think at least, and then we're gonna probably have to have a water boiler. Oh, you know what? Another thing that we definitely need to do. Just to avoid any future disasters as well, is we're gonna put, cause we have a, we're gonna put drains in the doors to all of the power rooms, just in case there's a flood, okay, that we're not expecting. We don't want water to get into these power rooms. Like it's gonna be a nightmare. Like that it'll blow up and cause like big, big problems. So let's get like drains here as well. It's just a precaution. It costs nothing to put a drain in, right? No? Has the execution happened? No, not yet. We're still waiting. Simon Simpson is still an ideal candidate for a good execution. How did I fix the leak from yesterday? I didn't. It just fixed itself somehow. I'm not sure quite how it happens. Okay, needs then. Let's see. Literacy, freedom, food. Oh yeah, food is going to be a bit of a problem. We're um we're just we're just working out this last day of serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for 2 days. This is the last day of that, and then we can do the last day of the three meals a day regime as well, which would be pretty nice. Okay, do we have power coming through here? We do, okay. We're all good for power coming in here. Yeah, is this like never-ending story movie? Our music, it, it sounds exactly like it. It's probably just like a little bit off so that it can remain like uh, royalty-free, but it's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, Justin Consistent, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome aboard. I don't know. Man, I'm just listening to like royalty-free 80s pop, so I don't know if it's if it's good or not. Like it sounds okay to me, I suppose, but like, what do I know? My music taste is questionable at best, I would say. No? Totally not based on copyright songs, playlist TM? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oh, there's a runner. There's a runner where? We don't have a runner, do we? Shit, have we found any more tunnels? I gotta really keep an eye on this, make sure that we're not having any escapes. Okay, quick build then. Let's go into clone and let's get this clone. Uh, we want. We don't want this like cloned up like this, really. But, because we don't want the radiator. We don't want that radiator, for Christ's sake. So we're gonna have to go into quick build clone and clone this one instead. God. Okay, it's like 770 bucks per cell, but we are gonna expand our capacity here. Okay, that's probably enough now. It's pretty sick, isn't it? I don't know. This music is incredible, actually. I'm, I'm really glad that we're listening to this today. It's really nice. Probably the best. Probably the best I've ever heard. Okay, and now we're gonna also need out here, uh, we're gonna need a water boiler. Let's put a water boiler, like, back here. Okay. And then we'll get some water coming up to here as well. We're gonna need to run the big pipe. Uh, where can we run the big pipe? I suppose we could just, like, run the big pipe up here. Oh, we can't afford to run the big pipe up here, sadly. So we'll place that, and then we'll uh, figure it out after when we get a little bit of money. For Christ's sake. Man, we're always out of money here. It's nuts. Okay, Simon Simpson is just having a sleep, looking at the chair, thinking about the chair, knows that his time is nearly up. He's going to be sitting in that chair. Hopefully Simon Simpson is the first of many people to be executed on a regular basis inside this prison, but we'll have to see. I snuck on. This music is giving some Outrun vibes. Nice. Yeah, we have to do a shakedown, but not just yet, okay? Because we're trying to get this serve a single low quality quantity meal thing done. They'll be too pissed off if they, uh, wow, this guy looks like he got so hungry that he just had to leave. Okay, good. He's tried to escape. Simon Charlwood, he's 38 years old, tried to get out of here. Okay, we've got some intake coming, so that should give us a little bit of money. That should be good. Once these cells are all done, we'll have an intake in about six hours time. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, hang on. Oh, it's like, like, 
I can feel it coming, but it doesn't want... Okay, it's just passed. Anyway. Good. My nose, like, went, like, all, like, tickly and stuff, you know? Like, when you're about to sneeze, but it just, like, didn't come. I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, and then I guess the next big job after we have a little bit of money and we sort of get everything else sorted out. Some of these... Oh, we've done this one! Okay, before I forget, let's go into policy now. Let's set this to high. Let's set this to high. And then we're going to have to go into the thing here. So we're going to say eat... Uh, you can eat here as well, eat, and then you can eat again. So that's three meals a day, okay? And then we want these guys to eat three times a day as well. So they're gonna eat, eat, and eat. Okay, good. And that should be fine. And we're gonna probably have a riot this morning though, because look at people are super fucking hungry. And by the time they wake up in the morning, uh, they're gonna be even hungrier and they're just gonna start hopping around and they're gonna get tased So we need to make sure that we've got some extra guards With tasers ready armed ready willing and able to do it. No. Yeah Good Major ding dong. Thank you very much for the nine month resub. Welcome back nine months already I could have been a dad by now. It's true. Actually. Yeah, maybe if you tried a bit harder You could have been a dad by now, but you're not one or maybe you are one Well good for you if you are okay like, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay, good. Great. God, this fucking power station is really maxed right out. We've got to be careful of that. We don't want to add anything else into here that requires power. If anything, we... Well, once we take the workshops out of here, that should be a little bit better, I think. So we'll have, like, a huge canteen. And then maybe, like, in going into here, we can have some more solitary. We can, we can expand our solitary. Because it looks like we're starting to need... Potentially more solitary, which is uh, just crazy, really. I mean, but, but these guys misbehave so much that we constantly need solitary. In fact, we have cues for solitary. It's so bad sometimes. So that's fine. We'll, we'll fucking figure it out anyway. It's Wii Sport music. No executions yet? No, I know. We're still working on it. Still working on it. When you only have one dick to bed and it makes you sad and happy at the same time, Red Pizza Head. I kind of get that, yeah. Corbo Yower doesn't get fried during the stream. Well, you'll get fried at some point, Jess. Hopefully this stream would be good. I'm here until about... I'm here for like another two hours or so. So it's like a bit of a shorter stream, but it's not like that much shorter than usual, I guess. But we'll see. Look, is this bugging you, this shirt? Look, I can see it like blinking. Sorry about this. Do you want me to like move myself down so you can't see my shirt? Watch. How's that? Okay, there. <laughs> there, okay, it's not a problem now. I'm just like peeking up above now. Hello? <laughs> Let me just check over here. I'm just gonna check on this resub here. Yeah. Oh, what's. Major Ding Dong for nine months. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well, I'll just like make my way back over here now and just put myself back up here. Is that, is that fine? Is that, is that okay? Nice shine. Yeah, thanks. Okay, good. Anyway. Uh, okay, great. Well, we're out of money again. So we're just waiting around for money now. God damn. Warden, check the block. Check what block? There's no block to check. We're fine. And we're gonna do a shakedown probably tomorrow once these guys are all eating their lunch. That's gonna be the best time to do it, I think. I like how these trees like grow. They just explode in like a shower of leaves. That's how it happens in real life too. You know why there's so many leaves on the ground? Because that's how trees grow. And they grow. They just grow everywhere. It's crazy. It's really fun too. So. Sneak up to the H-Wing that way. Oh, like this. I mean, okay, hang on a second. Let me just do like a little in investigation of the H-Wing. Okay. Are we... Shakedown? No, okay. They can't see me. Okay, let me just like slowly walk over here. Hopefully they don't notice me checking in on the H-Wing. Okay. No, I haven't been seen yet. Okay. Look, I have to go like this. I'm gonna sniff out the toilets, okay? Ready? <laughs> I 
No, there's nothing there. It's fine. It's fine. There's no there's no tunnels. I, I did the job for the dogs myself. Look, I was just sniffing the toilets just to make sure that there's nothing there. Tunnels. I was sniffing for tunnels. I was trying to find them to see. Now these guys aren't even awake yet. I'm not doing a shakedown now. I'm not doing any tunnel sniffing. Where did we find a tunnel? Is there flat? Hang on a second. Are you guys telling me that somehow we found some flags? Usually the flags are left. Let's just have a quick scan around for some flags here. Let's see. Are there any flags? Oh. Look, there's a painting here. The note. Here's the little note I wrote. You might want to take a look at that note. Don't worry. Pop, 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 pop. I don't see any flags. I think we're fine. We'll do a shakedown though, don't worry. We'll do the shakedown when they're eating. They're gonna be really pissed when they wake up. Look at this, hygiene and food. And bladder is now becoming like a huge issue. It's gonna be like Taze City this morning, by the way. Jesus Christ. All right, everybody, prepare for Prepare for tasings. When these guys wake up, the first thing they're gonna do is just go ballistic. They might take a shower to make themselves feel better, but it's probably not gonna work. It's probably not gonna take the edge off. They're gonna be really hungry. We're cooking up a goddamn feast for them though. Look at that, we got eggs, bacon, it's like some lettuce gems. Looks like we got some beige stuff here too. Oh, look at this. Actual proper eggs. Man, these prisoners aren't gonna know themselves. They're gonna love this. Okay, they're awake. All right, it's happening. Let's get ready for tasing. Look, temperature of the prison is already heating up. Looks like a couple of people have books inside their cells now. Oh yeah, here it comes. Look at this. They've already started. Tase city. All right, looks like a we got an armed guard here laying a smack down here. A couple of other guys are trying to escape and stuff. That's fine. Just, it's fine. They'll feel better in about two minutes once they start eating. It'll be fine. Oh, we found a power drill trying to get smuggled into the kitchen. Interesting. Uh, looks like this guy up here, Terry Foster, is causing some major problems. Uh, a couple of other people have been tased and stuff, but so far so good. It's not too bad, actually. They've all, they've all had their showers and their dumps and stuff. A couple of them are, like, kicking off now. Looks like we got another guy beaten half to death. The infirmary is going to be very busy, so is solitary today, but that's fine. We're tasing everybody who's causing problems. Look at this guy go. Okay, it's not a full riot yet. That's good. And we should be suppressing these guys. They should be walking by the armed guard and getting suppressed as a result. Okay, eat up, you fools. Come on, you animals. Eat your breakfast and feel better. You gotta, you gotta want to feel better. This is, the, oh, look at this. There, here they go. Oh, look, it needs being satisfied. What a beautiful thing. Freedom is a little bit of a problem still, but what can you do, right? Like, okay, good. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Quite a few t people were tased, though. That's the only thing. What's the gang situation today? Uh, let's see. Gang situation is, uh, uh looks like these guys, the, um... Fearless Ninja Stars are recruiting more people. They now have 14 members. Um, the Skeleton Draculas have five members, and of course the Healing Eagles only have three members. But it doesn't look like there's any specific gang territory. Whoa, Death Row guy here is part of the, somehow, managed to join the um, Fearless um, Ninja Stars or whatever. So, that's crazy. I wonder if we execute him if there's gonna be a riot, because he's a gang member. Freedom is never a problem? No, it's probably not really easy. Okay, good. That went a lot better than I than expected, and now these guys should feel pretty good now that they're eating some actual bacon and eggs and stuff for breakfast. Uh, I guess um, this intake happened as well, which is pretty good. We're gonna have to take a look and see if there's anybody here who is uh, in need of assistance. It doesn't look like it. It looks like these are all just normal criminals. None, none of them are snitches or ex-law enforcement that I can tell straight away anyway. So they're coming in. That made us like a tidy eight grand, which is pretty good. Which means that we can finally run this large pipe up here. Get the pipe on. And then we'll run this small pipe like this up here. Good. And then we'll get a hot water pipe into here as well like this. Perfecto. Good. Um, Zalius, thank you very much for the 200 bits. Man, this is some top quality streaming and nice toilet sniffing by the way. Thank you very much. And also Monez. 
Thank you very much for the donation. Fuck your horse and the guy who rode in on him. P.S. Did you know Duncan is a massive stoner? I'm aware of Duncan's habits, yes. Uh, I knew all about it. And, um, you know, it's just the way that he... The way that he likes to live his life, so... Who's to judge, you know? Who's to judge him? He's a grown man who makes his own decisions, and if he chooses to just act like a skid, it's up to him, you know? It's, it's his prerogative, he can do it. Um, okay, let's quick build here again, so that we can get these guys in here. Good. Okay, excellent. Three more cells. We'll hang on to this five grand as well, just in case we want to build some more stuff, because we're always out of money, it seems. Oh man, look at this mail room, it's huge. All right, we're gonna get some heat in here, even though it's 17 degrees Celsius outside, it's fine. No? And by the, the more you run a pipe, the weaker the pipe pressure gets and the less hot water comes out. Whoa, really? Jeez, I did not know that. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. That's good. Okay, I wonder how these guys are feeling now that they're out in the yard. Oh look, at freedom is being satisfied by them being outside in the yard, it seems. A couple of people are gonna have some freedom issues though because of the solitary, but it's their own fault for acting like fucking jabronis in the morning. Every morning, it seems. Some people are having like some family issues as well, but we have enough phones dotted around. And also we have a perfectly good visitation center that is almost seldomly used, I would say, like... It's barely ever used. It's kind of nuts, actually. So, I mean, I don't know what these guys are complaining about, realistically, but... Now we're dead. Freedom. Can somebody let me know if I missed anything super important because I just got here? No, you didn't. We're just um, working on getting this um, inmate nutrition research done, which uh, it'll be done by the end of today. We got through the hard one, which is pretty good. Now we're just feeding all of our prisoners the best to the best of our abilities. It doesn't look like we're able to keep up with these meal requirements. Look at all of the eggs that we're cooking here. <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy. It's not quite eat time yet though. Our cooks are really working hard to like make sure that this is all happening. I think they're managing to wash up all the trays and stuff too. The super kitchen seems to actually be working quite well. Which is good. It's really good. And then we're gonna have some more intake coming in in 19 hours off the back of these couple of extra cells that we're putting in. I remember the sips that would plant all the trees nowadays he runs a prison. Sniffing for crack in the toilets, Kipo. Yeah, um, thanks, uh, Mr. Taco. Yeah, I did. You know what? We can plant some trees right now. How would you like that? Let's plant some trees out here. Look, let's plant one here. And let's, like, have one here as well. We're gonna have some nice trees outside of our prison. Oh. Prior, second stream in a row X. What are the chances you'll play some more planet coaster in the future? D. Happy 14 years, and well done, do you want to sitting up with you? Holy crap. This is like a full riot, pretty much. Look at this. What are these guys doing? What is this in aid of, exactly? Fuck me. Our repair bills. Oh, well, that guy actually had a stick. Okay, nobody died at least, though. That's at least something. What? So what, what were they so pissed off about? We seem to be on top of needs and stuff. This guy just got here, for fuck's sakes. Connor Browett. Man, oh man, unbelievable. Okay, still no deaths, so that's good. Uh, Cinemod 1077, sorry, I totally missed that. Hi, a second stream in a row. What are the chances you'll play some more Planet Coaster in the future? PS, happy 14 years and well done to your wife for putting up with you. Thank you, Cinemod 1077, for the donation and the kind words, I think. Um, yeah, I'll probably play some Planet Coaster again at some point. Uh, I'm not sure when, though, but I'm sure it'll happen at some point. Said. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, good. That's the job that's gonna be done. Excellent. Okay. Uh, how's Simon Simpson doing? We haven't checked in on him in a little while. He's here. Uh, we don't have any more death row inmates turning up. It's just Simon Simpson. He's got a 22% chance of clemency. It's not a very high chance, but then again, fucking what's his face had a lower chance and he was he was granted it and he got off. Now he's just in the prison, probably causing problems and stuff. Jesus Christ, look at this. It's like the gates of hell, isn't it? That's fucking terrible. Shit, I don't even know what to say or do about that. It's the worst. There you go. Yeah, Mrs. Sips is a very patient woman. I guess so. Have I fried anyone yet? No, not yet. When will I play Europa Universalis 4? Pretty soon, I guess. Sips, I think you have legendary as Maxes, which kicking everyone off. Uh, wait, the legendary in 
Oh yeah, we do have a legendary in here, don't we? We need to move this legendary probably into um, into Supermax. Okay, we're gonna bust down. Who is the least? Okay, we got Matt, we got Adam McEvoy, Andrew Trish, and Stephen McEvoy in here. Okay, they're all members of the same gang as well. Okay, and they sort of are running the the Supermax section. We need another Supermax cell so that we can put that other legendary guy into Supermax and hold him in here. Um, but I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this because the way I planned this is not the greatest actually. It could have been a lot better. But there you go. This is where we're at now and this is just how it's going to have to be, I think. I mean, unless we just turn this into a little cell over here. Oh, I don't want to do that though. I, I want to like plan this out a little bit better. I mean, maybe we could just do like another little wing like this that goes like up like here and then we could have... Oh, that could work. Let's see. So it's like here. How big are these cells? Seven. So from here, seven. So go like that and then go like that and like that. Okay. And then like that, like that. And then this is what? Five. here okay this this is this seems like it could be okay actually they're gonna be really close to the edge but it doesn't matter really so we can fit four more cells in there and we can make it like a Jesus cross yeah I mean I, I'm not I'm, I'm all right with that we we'll just expand out Supermax, and then we'll have a bit more room for like um, some more of these legendaries that come in. It would be good to get rid of some of these guys, get them out of the prison population, because those legendary guys are the guys that are just going to kick off all the time, drill people to death, hammer their faces in and stuff like that. Where can I find this music? Testicles. Yeah, 10 out of 10, they're definitely t tunneling out. No, there's nobody tunneling out. We're going to find out. What The easy way to find out if they're mid-tunnel is uh, during um, when they go to bed, right? There's nobody tunneling out right now, though. We haven't found, we haven't had like any sniffs in a little while. Unless they're maybe tunneling out this way, possibly. I mean, we could send a dog up here, have a quick sniff. Have a quick sniff up here, see if you can find anything, okay? He's gonna go out here and he's gonna do a little sniff. See if he can find a tunnel. He should just sniff along the way. With any luck, he'll sniff along the way and we'll see if anybody's trying to tunnel out this way. This way's covered. This way's more or less covered. And then, you know, if they're trying to go out this way, well, that's crazy. Okay. We're doing a sniff here. Sniff, 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 sniff. You found anything? Oh, wait a second, actually. Deployment. Dog patrols. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I don't think he's found anything. So I don't think there's anyone mid-tunnel. We'll know tonight. Whenever, when everybody goes to bed. Like, come, actually, we should be able to see the dummies. If, if anybody is mid-tunnel right now, there'd be a, a dummy in their bed, right? I don't see any dummies in beds. I think we're fine. Try shakedown while the caution level isn't high. Yeah, I could do. I mean, we have a couple of guards free, but... They've got, like, their day-to-day -day duties, though. I don't want to, like, interfere with that right now. You know, we're finally just getting back on track here, it feels like, so... Okay. When Next time we get a little bit of money... I guess one thing that we could do straight away though is probably um, extend these walls a bit. Because they cost like nothing, right? So we'll extend the wall like here to here. And then we'll extend th this wall like to here, I suppose. And just hope that these Supermax guys don't try to tunnel out because that would be fucking terrible. Imagine they're trying to tunnel out of here. Actually, let's like search all the all of their toilets just in case. Okay, we're searching all of the Supermax toilets just in case. Nobody wants to get into that lion's den though, that's the only thing. They're too scared, especially during shower time. Look, these guys are all having like a nice relaxing shower. We're gonna just go in and just like search through their toilets while they're like sitting on them basically. Look, McKee boy is just like, what are you doing officer? We're giving him a nice wreck search and uh... Searching these toilets just okay good so far so good. We, we we might need a dog patrol in here as well actually Thinking about it. Which way are they likely to tunnel out? We could do with dog patrols like 
Okay, we're gonna need some more dogs. All right, we're gonna need some. Whoa, what's that? Okay, that's fine. All right, so objects. Then we want some more dog crates. They're a hundred bucks each. Okay, we have lots of dog crates now. So anytime we want to hire some new dog handlers, we should be fine. Okay, these guys are eating again. And I think this is the last time they need to eat today for us to get 15 grand. So that's good. Okay, and we're gonna get... If there's a dog handler... Okay, yeah, there's one on break here. Okay, we're gonna get the dog handler into Supermax to just have a little... A quick sniff around, just to make sure. <clears throat> I don't know if they're like in the middle of working on a tunnel, or maybe they've started a tunnel and they're just pretending like they're not working on a tunnel now, but... Supermax is not somebody that we want to escape the prison alive. The only way Supermax guys are going out is in a body bag. Much like the rest of the prisoners, actually. You gotta be really careful. One more throat burn. The kennels are only to let the dogs rest. Yeah, I know, but we're gonna have a lot of dog handlers, so. Alright, get in there and sniff the toilets. Just have a good old sniff and see if you can find anything. No? Okay, what about this one? What about this one? No, don't go on break now. Come on, for fuck's sake. Fucking dog handlers the worst, aren't they? Jesus Christ. They all have to, like, back each other up on pat patrols and stuff like that. It's a fucking disaster. Um, alright, that's done. That's pretty good. So we can do, um... These jobs now are being done as well. That's pretty good. Okay, good. Whoa. God, okay, let's let them finish those fences. It's gonna take a little while for them to do that. We just made a thousand bucks off exports as well. Nice, this place is working like pretty well, except for the mornings sometimes when, you know, shit sort of like kicks off big time. Uh, but at the end of today, we should get this grant. Everybody should be fine for food until the end of time, except for like the one prisoner. There's 25 prisoners concerned about food right now, and I don't even understand how or why. Okay, these guys are all going to their cells now to their beds so if there's anybody missing then that's when we know that's when we know to go out and check for the tunnels okay and look for dummies as well so we can actually see all these guys okay is anyone missing from a cell we're just gonna have a quick look and then we're gonna do a shakedown tonight as well and then once we get this 15 grand we're gonna have to change up the meal um, regime and stuff like that and that'll be that one done it's a tricky one to get done so it'll be really good when it is done and I'm glad that it's done as well and all that stuff too. Okay, great. All right, it looks like possibly some people are missing from cells, but there are two guys in solitary right now. And maybe it's this guy and this guy, possibly? I'm not sure. Come down here and have a really quick sniff, okay? Just to put my mind at ease. I don't want any tunnels forming. Okay, good. Great, nice. Okay, we can do this shakedown now. It looks like everybody is asleep. Okay, good. Uh, Madongam, thanks very much for the bits. Sips, I hate to say, but watching those 15 min sec prisoners escape the other day was just about the funniest moment in one of your videos in donkey's years. Thanks so much for all the entertainment over the years. Thank you very much, man. Lead Soup, thanks very much for the sub as well. Welcome. Rook101, thank you very much for the sub too. Uh, welcome aboard. Lupus Deus, thanks for the seven month resub. Rarely get to see you live, but illness means I can today. You win some and you lose some. Cheers, man, from a fellow June 1980 boy. Kiss. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Shifted Josh, thanks for the donation as well. Hi, Sips, wanted to let you know I've been watching a long time. Long while on YouTube and never actually watched your streams other than VODs until the past couple of weeks, and I've loved it. You are such a great and funny guy. Thank you. Also, Forrest Gimp didn't fry. No. He was granted clemency, if you can believe that, and now he's just rotated back into this shit sandwich that we call prison here. So that that happened, unfortunately. Um, okay, we're like 97% away from- WAIT! 90 oh, of course! Of course, we have to do this again just for like part of the day tomorrow to get it. Because I, I cancelled it last time, remember? Oh shit. That's so annoying. God's sake, Jesus. Oh, and Joe Dunlavy. Thank you very much for the sub as well. Welcome aboard. Oh, man. Well, I can't help it, okay? This is what's happened. We, we, I fucked up the, the thing. Remember, like, at the end of the day last time when I thought that they were all asleep, but they weren't? So now we're, like, 3% off getting this 15 grand, which means that we have to do, like, the fancy meals for, like, five minutes tomorrow, and then we can just change. Yeah, we got it. Okay, perfect. 
finally. Shit all over it. Okay. So, we want to change this back to uh, free, free time and free time. And this is work free time. Okay, this is how we had this. But actually, I'm wondering if we need these guys to eat a little bit sooner. So I'm going to say from 5 until 6, they're going to eat again. Okay, which means that they can have work and free time all the way up until bedtime. And then a bit of free time right before bed. I think they only need an hour of yard time, realistically, right? Just an hour in the yard is fine. They can just get out there, run around a bit, and they'll be fine. Okay, let's do that. And let's just make this work free time and uh, work free time as well. Like this. Okay, work free time and then free time and then eat and then work free time, work free time, work free time, free time and then eat. Okay, good. And then this is lock up in the morning as well. Okay, good. And of course, these guys can also eat from 5 until 6 for the second time of the day. But then it's just lock up for the rest of the day. Because they're fucking apes, that's why. Okay, good. Oh yeah, and then policy wise, we just want to change back to medium. It's gonna cost tw us 12 bucks per prisoner per day. Fuck, that's a lot of money on food. Holy shit. Okay, good. All right, shakedown is underway as well, and that's that done. That's another grant complete. Fucking, fucking fantastic. Okay, and then we can do this long-term investment one as well, which is gonna our advance payment is minus 5,000 bucks, but we'll get 16 grants. Good. And another thing that we wanted to do as well was, oh, we did it already. We got the execution liability. Perfect. Okay, guard towers we don't have yet. Okay, we're going to research guard towers as well, which leaves us with 10 grand. That's not bad. Okay. All right. So these guys are going to be a little bit pissed off in the morning following the shakedown. But it turns out that we have found two power drills, uh, which are being used to potentially escape the prison. So it's good that we're doing this shakedown. Find all of these tools and stuff. Get them out of the hands of the prisoners. So that if they are in the middle of tunneling or whatever, they're going to have to rethink their game plan. And who knows, we might find a couple of tunnels as well. There's still a lot of cells left to search. Oh, what's that, a lighter? Okay, you're in big trouble. Okay, you're not allowed to have a lighter in your cell, okay? It's a big no-no. Look at all this crap. Two cell phones. How the fuck did they get a cell phone in here? Like, that's what I want to know. We've got fucking metal detectors literally everywhere. What the hell is going on? Look at, like, down this, like, really narrow hallway, there's, like, like six metal detectors. Jesus Christ. It's so annoying. No, no executions yet. We're still waiting. Simon Simpson is not in a place where he can actually be executed. Hang on a second, though. Where is Simon Simpson? He's down here. Now that we have the execution liability. Oh yeah, the state approved conviction strength is 10%. Okay, if clemency is granted, the prisoner will immediately released if found innocent or transferred to maximum security if still judged as guilty. Okay, so hang on a second. The likelihood that the appeals board will grant clemency and commute the commute the prisoner's death row sentence. Each unsuccessful appeal lowers this value until it is below the state approved conviction strength. Okay, so we have to get him at 10% or below. Good. So it's gone up by 5% because of that execution liability, right? So we have to get him into a place whereby we can execute him. So if he fails like maybe two more um, appeals, we could potentially fry this guy. That would be good, right? No? 10%, 22%, same thing. I'm not clicking the button. Jesus, I'm not losing my job over that. We've come too far for me to just lose my job randomly to some garbage like that. Hell no. Tokyo Joe, I'm not doing it, okay? What the fuck has gone? What is going on here? How come we can't get this last pipe? There's no job for it. For fuck's sake. Jeez. <clears throat> okay. Good. We're in great shape here. Really great shape. Probably the best shape we've ever been in. Um, but in about three hours time, there's probably going to be a massive riot. I think these guys are going to be pretty pissed when they wake up. <clears throat> Hygiene being like the big factor. Man, why does there... Why does... Oh, God. They want to wash re regularly, especially in the mornings after they wake up. The shower regime will force prisoners who don't have their own personal shower to go near a shower room. If this is becoming a problem, consider expanding your shower facilities or adding more free time so prisoners can shower as they need to. 
I mean, there's so much free time allocated. Like, why aren't these guys showering regularly? It's the showers that's the problem in the morning. They're all filthy when they wake up, and they feel terrible about it. <clears throat> Give them four shower time? Not for fuck's sake, though. Like, really? What, can I just, like, do this? Could I just force them into shower time straight away in the morning? And will they use their own shower? It might- well, I'm, I'm up for trying it. We can see. I mean, there are no shower rooms in the prison. Everybody has their own toilet shower combo with drain. So maybe they'll just wake up straight away and just take a shower. Because it's shower time. They'll just be forced into it instead of just like sitting around thinking about it. Because the thing is, while, they ha while they're having a shower, they can sit down and pee and poo at the same time as well, right? When sleep is active, their hygiene need goes up. Okay, fine. So maybe maybe showering first thing in the morning is, is the way forward then. We'll see. We'll see if that's the case. I'm looking forward to seeing if that's definitely the case. Alright, we're back on medium meals, which means that we've got eggs. Wait a second. Maybe that's right, actually. Maybe it is eggs in the morning. Okay, we're gonna- we changed around their meal times. So that there's less of a gap in between, because we're only feeding them twice a day. That could be a bit of a problem as well, actually. I mean, we're not going to be able to tell today, because they've had a whole day yesterday of, like, amazing meals, and lots of them as well. God, hygiene is just, like, max. Look, 70, 70, 77 prisoners are furious that they can't have a shower. Even though they all have showers in their cells. Like, oh, man, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Oh, three maximum security prisoners arriving in two hours time as well. It's pretty good. Still no more death rows. Congrats though. on 14 years mines in a few months. Wow, also nice. one my daughter told me. Dad, do you think the sea is salty cause the land do us to wave back? <laughs> cause the land doesn't wave back. Nice. That's really good, uh, Mac and Bobby. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. And um, congratulations on your uh, wedding anniversary in a few months time as well. Thank you so much, I appreciate it, it's great. King of Panda Bears, thanks very much for the bits as well. Uh, when you're done with the prison, can you try to escape from it? It would be fun to watch on stream. Yeah, sure, we can do that, that'd be pretty fun. And Brooksy101, thanks for the six month resub. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Yikes. Yeah, that's, um, I've heard that one before. I'm sure I've heard that one before. It's a good one though. Thank you. Okay, it must be morning time, because somebody has already been tased. Jesus Christ. He woke up and instead of having a shower, he decided to just punch a shower and get tased. This is the story of... This. Oh, look. So hang on a second. Okay, so we're forcing them into shower time, which actually leaves their cells open. And it looks like most of these guys are actually having a shower, except for this guy who's refusing to have a shower. If it's Matt Underwood, he's pooing instead. Okay, well we've allocated shower time and that seems to have actually worked somewhat. There's been far less tases this morning than in previous mornings. Except for this one guy, that, that, that was the tale of course of, um, what's this guy's name? Simon Charlwood, 38 years old. Punched a shower instead of just taking a shower. Like a mouse. Like, like a mouse. Can I say that? No. Long Dong Hyun told you. Did it work? Side note, I'm glad I typed the last line there instead of base camp to client. Is it fixed then? No? Happy, nice smelling prisoners. Whoa, we just got three grand for prison. We're actually making some money now. Okay, good. Great. Forced shower seems to be the way forward. Everybody was forced to take a nice shower. Now they feel better for it. And hopefully in their free time later in the day, they can spend more time washing themselves and showering and feeling better about themselves. That would be pretty good. That would be a nice thing to have happen. I would totally be up for that. Good. Wow, this canteen is starting to get really, really cramped, isn't it? Some people are just not going to eat. They're going to go have a visitation instead. Means that, uh, you know what, well, you can't eat food later. So if you're missing your, your meal time, that's your shout, okay? I know that you pro probably want to speak to your lawyer and stuff. It's Totham's lawyer is here, Jackson's lawyer. He's talking about drugs to his lawyer. Nice. Maybe his lawyer can, like, get him some drugs in here or something. Uh, feeding prisoners-wise, it looks like 91% of prisoners have meals allocated to them. Um, 92, in fact. These guys are all eating. 
for the most part. And it looks like possibly some of the guys that aren't eating are having their parole hearings are in visitation. And uh, some of them have just been uh, taken in as well. We're going to have to check to see, actually. A volatile gang member, and we don't know who this guy is. We don't know anything about this guy, Richard Leavers. He is, uh, he's been, s wow, okay, he's been sentenced to 16 years for multiple crimes, including rape, gross indecency, and gross indecency again, and 11 years for trafficking as well, but he served that. God, what an asshole. Holy shit. Okay, uh, looks like Randy Slaughter has 95% coverage right now as well. That's nuts. We'll activate him in a minute and see what he knows. Maybe he knows a thing or two about some of these new guys, like this guy here. This guy, I think, is going to be like a fucking protective custody guy for sure, right? Like, he just has that... He has that way about him, I think. I think it's all of the things that he's been charged for. Gross indecency normally means that you're like some sort of like ex-cop right that's just the, the way that they do things possibly sorry if you're a cop uh, <laughs> uh i didn't mean to say that okay anyway randy slaughter we're pulling you in baby all right we're gonna have to make up a story for when we pull randy slaughter in as well so it's gonna be like oh randy i noticed that you're not wearing your shirt today um you're gonna have to get pulled in here randy we, we can't be having that. He's, what are you talking about? I have my shirt on. He's like, Randy, we don't want any sass. That's it. You're going to the shoe. The, but the shoe isn't even this way. Fucking Randy, come on. Play along for fuck's sake. So you're going to get fucking killed. Jeez. Okay, what did we find out, if anything? We found out that there is a power drill in the kitchen. Okay, good. Let's deactivate him. Send him back. And then let's get... Let's search the kitchen for this power drill, okay? Hopefully Randy doesn't get fucking killed now. His suspicion is not too high, actually. That's fine. Okay, good. Randy told us that there's a power drill in the kitchen, and we found it. Okay, perfect. That's one more power drill not getting into the prison now. Excellent. He's got really good coverage. It's incredible, actually. 96% coverage. Shit, that is fucking crazy and these other guys too are sort of starting to get up there as well all right so did we find out if that guy we we did find out something about him it turns out that he's probably not a snitch or ex-law enforcement Oh, God, that's intense. Holy shit. Have you ever heard anything like it? Wow, that's fucking crazy. Hey, Madogum, thanks very much for the bits. What did I say to the midget when she asked to have sex with me? I don't get down like that. Kappa. Oh, fuck. Shit. Uh, thanks, Madogum, for that, for that one. I don't get down like that. I get it. God. Shit, that's crazy. Okay, let's demolish these walls that we no longer need. These ones. These ones. Because it's a bit of a mess up here now. Uh, and let's demolish these. It looks like we have a stranded worker here inside this, like, labyrinth of walls and stuff as well. Okay, good. And uh, we're going to get this built up so that we can get that legendary into Supermax, okay? And uh, after we're done that, if we have any more money, then we can keep expanding out, heading towards cell block D. Long-term investment. I think we've almost done all of the grants. It's just the reform through education initiative. Um, hopefully, general education is something we'll be able to do pretty soon. And we might have some people actually interested in doing it now that we have a library. No, nope, we have zero interested and zero qualified for this. Led by a teacher in a classroom, session length is three hours, each prisoner requires a school desk. Voluntary, can hire externally, students sit academic, intermediate, prisoners must have completed the foundation education program. They're all here still. I don't know why they're not interested in general education, or do I actually have to start it? Okay, from 7pm until 10pm, 
we're going to do a general education qualification, which is going to cost us money, but nobody is interested or qualified in it. So I'm just going to stop the program. Does anybody know why we can't do it? Make the classroom massive. Give them chairs to reduce hygiene. You should try to escape from your own prison. What the fuck? Max Secker dumb. What the hell? What? What? What's going on? The grass tickles their crotch. What? Conspiracy worldwide. What's going on? I don't get it. Hey, uh, Kibley Wafers. Thank you very much for the bits. Hey, Sips. Haven't been here in a while, but I'm back, baby. Good to have you back. Thank you very much. Thanks for the... <gasps> Who? Oh, shit. Warren Lovegrove has died. And it looks like possibly... Ian Evans, he's just murdered somebody, and now it looks like Jesse Hummel, 61-year-old man working at the sorting desk, this guy is going for it, look at this. Come on, stand up for yourself, Hummel. You can do it, take him down, you did it. No, no, don't kill him though, don't kill him. You don't want to be in here for longer than you need to be. Oh my god. He's just gone back to work, oh no, he's rampaging. Oh god, okay, well, we're gonna definitely have to get some guys up here into these, so from 12 until 3, and then from 7 until 10. Man, these fucking animals. What? What is the point of having a CCTV camera if we can't even get fucking guys to respond? They have radios, do they not? They could have said, get up here, there's a guy just going fucking ape shit up here. For fuck's sake. Okay, so from, what was it? From, what are, where are the work times again? From 12 until 3, and then from 7 until 10. 12 to 3. It's 12 until 3, that's fine. So here, we're gonna want a guy in the mail room. And then from 7 until 10. Okay, so we're gonna need to make this one 5. 7 until 10. This is the other work time mail room. Okay, and you know what? Let's have him in the library as well. My girlfriend always takes long baths after we finish watching a Ryan Gosling movie. Right. I don't know what she's doing in there, but right. it gives me lots of time to jerk off to Ryan Gosling. Sounds like a win-win situation, um, barf in my anus. Thank you very much for the donation, I appreciate it. Jacko Kirky, thank you very much for the sub as well. It looks like this asshole, uh, well he's just gone back to work. It looks like Jesse Hummel here. It was like a cascade of murder. One guy murdered another guy, and then he was trying to murder Jesse Hummel, but Jesse Hummel turned around and then murdered him instead. And then started trashing the mailroom. And now we're gonna have to actually have guards stationed in the mailroom and the library uh, during work time. For fuck's sake, it's crazy. You can't, you can't trust these guys to do anything. Now we're carting two fucking dead bodies out of the prison. None of them were snitches or ex-law enforcement or anything. It just happens when you leave these guys alone to do things and you think that you trust them. But you know what? You can never trust them. And that's the thing. They're not trustworthy. So there you go. Okay. I think we're kind of ready to do this now. We've removed all of the old fences. So that's good. So let's go in for the building here. And let's get this like that. Good. It's going to cost us three grand. Which is alright actually. And then we're going to have four extra Supermax cells that we can get people uh, put into as well. It looks like Simon Simpson is still sitting at a sweet 22%. Which is pretty good. Um, and, and, and counting. Hopefully he fails some of his appeals and then we can fry him. Hey listen, what time, what time is it right now actually? Hang on. I think I need to go grab some lunch. I got, I got you some lunch. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Coming in in a sec to, to get it. Okay. I've got some lunch. Okay, okay, great. Thank you. Coming in a sec to get it. Okay, I'm, t I'm texting my wife. I'm texting. My wife got me some lunch, okay? It's really good. I'm gonna go eat some lunch really quick. I'm just gonna go like fucking ham fist it down my throat. Um, like right now actually, okay? So listen, bear with me, I'll be about like five minutes. Let me just go grab this lunch and I'll come back and we'll carry on, okay? I've paused the game for now, and look, Happy I'll even put this on six. for you as well. It's also my out of the Mama Womb anniversary. Thanks really? for all the great years and laughs. Sip, wow! Sips, hooray. Holy shit! 
Trainer Adrian. Trainer Adrian, sorry. Thank you very much for the thousand bits. I appreciate it. Happy anniversary, Sips. It's also my out of the Mama Woon anniversary. Well, happy birthday. Tell your wife happy I love birthday. her. Okay, bye. I will. Thank you very much, my cool uh, underscore. Thank you for the uh, 500 bits as well. Appreciate it. Uh, Conspiracy Worldwide, thank you very much for the bits as well. Appreciate it. Uh, and um, Bungalow4, thanks for the sub as well. Okay, listen. Let me go get this lunch. I'll be back in two secs, okay? Back in a minute. Uh, or like five minutes. I'll be like five minutes, okay? Okay. Back in a sec. Bye.